You ain't scared of them at all, are you, little man? Uh, uh, no. You got a good eye. Uh. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. YouTube so uh, today obviously we're in the car headed down to a good friend of ours uh, Wes and Zach Collins uh, in his grip reptiles uh, we featured them a couple weeks ago some of the banana stuff that they produced and check their collection out I guess about three or four weeks ago matched some stuff in particularly one snake that I had to have and we're going to pick it up so it's been ready for a little while now but we've just been so busy Wes has been busy haven't had time to get it making time today he's about an hour a little over an hour from us and we're gonna run down here and pick this thing up talk a little bit maybe he might not want to YouTube today I don't know probably put him on the spot who knows Anyway, uh, city of Reedsville, that's the city limit sign, so we're almost there. Check back with you in a second. This is Andrew's Grip Reptiles. This is my son, Zach. Uh, he and I started this business together, so nobody ever sees him, but he does as much work as I do at it, and he is actually the better of the identifier of snakes. I don't know if it's because he's an artist or not, but he is definitely better at it than I am. So, we're in Reedsville, Georgia. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, you can find us on Facebook, and you can find us on Morph Market, all under Andrew's Grip Reptiles. Nice. And we apologize for the background noise. <laughs> He's ready. Range is, hook, range, range is out. trying to open tubs and play with snake hooks. But uh, anyway, so uh, Wes sent me some pictures of some stuff that he hatched, and I'll just let him explain exactly what it was. But I had to have something from it. So uh, what was what was the pairing? Who was uh, the male was an asphalt, and then the female was a pastel calico spot nose. Nice. So. Uh, can we, can we look yeah. at the, the mom? You see the female? Yeah. Sure. So this is the pastel calico spot nose female. In shed. In shed, of yeah. course. They're always in shed when you would show them off, but uh, her whites are just gorgeous. This is the second clutch we've gotten off of her, and uh, I've been super pleased with them. So you're the only one getting any snakes out of this clutch. <laughs> We're keeping the rest of them. He's going to hoard the rest of them back. Yeah, I think so. Really nice. A lot of people don't know this, but spot nose uh, and calico, if you don't have something else in there, spot nose calico doesn't look that great. Mm -hmm. But pastel or yellow belly, asphalt, um, other genes in there really make the calico pop on spot nose, but by itself it's not really that great. Mm. Yep, I love it together, that's for sure. I'll show you the what's hatched, we'll look at yours last. Cool. To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. Zach thinks this is just pastel. I think it looks a little odd as a pastel, but 
for now we're just gonna label it as that and we're gonna grow her out and see what she proves to be yeah I don't know if, I don't know uh, that much about asphalt it definitely doesn't look like a pastel yellow belly um, and I keep saying yellow belly because asphalt and yellow belly are in the same complex so yeah it's been interesting to see because you know in the bananas now most people think it doesn't show up the same way yep and so for every new combination because there's not a ton of super asphalts out there being bred people are, are guessing a little bit about how they're going to show up uh, so I'm going to raise this one up to see if it ends up just being pastel it's okay definitely want to breed breed her and prove her out so we can find out how asphalt interacts with some of these different uh, morphs like pastel there's just not enough super asphalts out there being bred to know for sure so we'll just hold on to her and see so we think this one here is uh, pastel calico and spot nose just like the mother and we think over time we'll see these colors change on the top but the super nice example and real high whites also yeah, that's really nice I love that combo mm -hmm. so Tony and I both spent some time looking at these and we think these are twins and uh, Tony talked me out of this one. Both of these are males, and we believe that they are spot nose calico asphalts. Definitely appears to be. I mean, I'm not a not an asphalt uh, genius, <laughs> but I don't know what else could be doing that. It's definitely not a typical spot nose calico, so it almost has to be. Yeah, I don't know what else could be influencing it that way. Yeah. It's crazy you hit two out of uh, four eight clutch though. Yeah. And, and probably haven't been any of these made before. If they are, I haven't ever seen them anywhere. Yeah, these, they're probably world's first. I, I doubt anybody's done it. So, two really or cool. four eggs, that's, yeah, that's pretty lucky. Yep. Uh, and also, kind of the benefit on this pairing, too, is you didn't have yellow belly. Yes. So, you know that these are, are going to prove asphalt and not yellow belly. So. Yeah, when we first started out, uh, we used our, our asphalt. Everything was used on, on yellow belly combinations. We were trying to make you know freeways of different types and uh, last year or so we started breeding the asphalt more to some stuff that doesn't have any yellow belly in it yep so it just took us a little bit of time to have enough different choices and uh, so we hope maybe this year coming up to to hit a super if not maybe next year and then when that happens we're going to start putting it in a, in a bunch of different uh, combos so we can start identifying it better nice all right so i'm a little jealous on these odds that you got here <laughs> Yeah, we came out pretty good, didn't we? So you done like what three pie pairings and ended up with how many girls? Uh, we did three three pie to hep pods and we ended up with uh, six girls. Wow! Out of that, and uh, so this is a black pastel pod female that we're keeping, and really excited That's about one of her. The best ones I've seen, man. That thing's it's not high white and looks. The pattern looks great. That's just perfect. Yeah, we were super pleased with this. Our male is pretty high white, but uh, apparently the head pod uh, and the females for both of the ones that we made black pastel pods out of must be low white. Nice. Uh, so they came out great. Super excited about them. So we made four females of this That's this crazy. year. And then we made this one. We know for sure Mojave pod, uh, but Tony was looking at it too, and he thinks we might have hit the black pastel in this also. I'll let you explain why though. Yeah. I'm Pretty sure that's Mojave, just based off of the head pattern, you can tell it's Mojave. Also, the uh, the lips, the upper lip, a lot of your Mojave pods will have that. Um, I'm leaning more towards it being black pastel and Mojave, uh, simply because most of the time your black pastel is usually a higher white. Mojave is usually a little bit more pattern than what this one is, but combined, I would think that it would be more white snake like this. Um, and if you notice the head, is for kind of a two-tone head on mm -hmm. this side really dark and that's usually something that black pastel does so i know when we looked at them online we looked at several of them that that were you know they were selling on this possible they were selling as black pastel mojaves yep. and most of them had the partial head stamps yep. like that or you know, call it a head saddle maybe <laughs> i don't know i don't know what you call it either, so. and obviously that's the itchy pod I mean, uh, to me, the Inchy Pie is one of the staple pies. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, it's all you could ask for in a pie. It's got great pattern. It's not, uh, you know, it's not super high white where you can still see some of that pattern. So, yeah, we we like her a lot. We made uh, we made another low white pie female that we kept back, and uh, 
Oh, we made one that's a black, uh, black pastel Mojave. We think that has a lot more pattern than this one. And then we made two male pies nice. out of those. So pretty, pretty blessed for sure. Stacking the pie girls up. Yeah, man. <laughs> somebody, somebody's gonna make a good living off of us in about two more years when we buy a mail for them. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right on. Anyway, I think that's gonna wrap us up for today. Uh, we gotta get back home. I need to go climb in a deer stand this afternoon. I hear you. I hear you. I think it's wet shot, uh, wet shot, west shot, and I eight point last night. So. Yeah, got my first one of the year. So took all the pressure off of me. Now mm -hmm. it's all on you. Mm. <laughs> I've shot a lot, but still waiting on my big book. Anyway, uh, we'll see y'all next go around. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye!